What's going on bikers? So today I'm going to be swapping out my turn signals uh, that I have here on my 2010 Street Triple um, with these cool LED round ones that are actually meant for bar ends or the rears uh, hanging over your shocks. And I'm gonna put this guy in right here so it's sitting flush like that. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because one of these on the other side actually kind of cracked already. There were cheap ones that I got on eBay. Um, and I think that these would be really cool because you'd be able to re really see them better from the sides and from the rear uh, when the signal is flashing in the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these taken apart and have a look at how I gotta install this guy. All right, so I'm on the right side here and I've got the old turn signal kind of just hanging out of the way. I didn't want to undo all the wiring and stuff until I decided to commit. Um, but this is what this new bar end style would look like sitting on the plastic. Now, as you can see, the plastic is curved, so this thing won't sit perfectly flush uh, right there. Uh, there is obviously plenty on the back here to be able to thread the nut on where the wires come through. But what I'm gonna do is, and I think this will work, is I'm going to get this grommet nut thing um, and cut it in half and to see if I can put that piece of plastic uh, between the light and the fairing here to help have it stick out just enough so it's looking a little cleaner. I mean, ideally it'd be cool if this would sit flush, but I just don't think it's gonna be able to do that. And I don't really wanna cut up my fairing at all because you know those parts are expensive. So what I'm gonna do is get my Dremel tool out, cut this in half and then slide it between uh, the light and the fairing and see if I can tighten that down and what that'll look like. All right, so I've got the little grommet in place here and I think that looks pretty good. It's kind of hovering off the edge a little bit there. It looks like this will work. So I think I'm gonna commit to this project and pull out this other light and work on getting this thing all set up. All right, I've got it hooked up and it's flashing. Looks good, I think that's gonna be pretty sweet. Um, uh, it came unplugged, but all I got to do is just connect the wires here, the yellow to the white, the black to the black, and we're good to go. Not sure what the uh, red is for. It might be a running light option, but I'm just going to clip that off because I'm not going to need it. But look, as, you, as I connect the yellow, boom, you can see it flashing. So just going to get those connected up and put back together, finish up the other side, and this should be done. All right. The round signals are done and that's pretty cool because you can clearly see it from the front and the back goes along with my new brighter turn signal that I put on before round modern flush that's pretty sweet so let's see this side yeah so bar and turn signals can be used anywhere on the bike and that actually looks pretty good. So we'll call the turn signal upgrade done.